grow your own grow your own tea garden by judy helmer the guide to growing and harvesting the flavorful teas in your backyard so the index come on brightness will look like this kind of thing so you got um teas here leaves flowers and then fruits and roots so and it tells you um which is under um, each with its like botanical scientific name and so she has at the introduction here um, this little um, box here um, that it's that this book is not a field guide it's not intended to diagnose treat or cure any disease uh, I she am a gardener a and a tea drinker and not a doctor or a nutritionist um, and she does um, a full not a full but like a bit of a disclaimer there so that she's just a tea drinker gardener and it's not a replacement kind of thing for um, your regular doctor or whatever so she has that and so you do get like in um, when it talks about like the different teas so that, like this one would be green tea so you get a bit of information um, steam cool roll dry sip sections so and it kind of does that for each kind of um, tea and then when it gets into the type of like plants or fruits or whatever you get this setup pretty much for like every single one so you get like the name um and like the zone so zone or zones it grows in but and like type of information about like growing it harvesting and so and sometimes you'll get like an extra kind of note this one would be like for the best brew do this or you get a few uh, different types of um or you or you you would get some other information other than for the best brew but most often than not you would get the that kind of tip so um there is a plant index divided into categories which i just showed um you do get a mix of photographs and primary images like um uh the di diagram or whatever of like the plant um you do get an in introduction to a lot of facts and, and information in here she has done some research into this book so and then chapter three goes into on to like growing the plants garden designs so if you want to just grow plants for a certain like mint or healing or energy or whatever she has for that you can go to that um so like sleepy time tea garden relaxing tea or whatever you um go to that and then saying these are the plants you would grow in there um chapter four deals with brewing tools um preserving uh you do get a few recipes like tea recipes and you do get um, separate hardiness maps for both US and Canada, which I think is a good thing because sometimes you only get for the US and not Canada. <laughs> and because like sometimes those who read this book are from Canada and they would like to say, hey, I would like to grow this. Where's my zone? <laughs> kind of thing. So it's nice that she put not um as like separate kind of um yeah she could have put it all on one page but um it wouldn't be as like specific or detailed <laughs> as it is but so which is nice that um she puts it put it um separately so you do get a better 
idea of where your zone is. So yeah, um, nice book if you are the type of person who wants to really know where your ingredients to your teas come from. So yeah, grow your own tea garden. Happy readings.